Let us now cover the topic of debugging Python and C++ code in Visual Studio. So first I will walk you through what we need to install in Visual Studio in order to make this happen. We will then install a Python version which is compatible with the native Python tools. So this goes up to version 3.7 if I'm not mistaken. And I will walk you through the installer. Um, I will show you which, which boxes you need to check when you are installing Python. And in the end, I will show you how it all comes together in Visual Studio. So first things first, let us install native Python tools. So I am here in the Visual Studio installer and I have it in German, unfortunately. I don't know how I can set it to English. It should be the same process. So I am working with Visual Studio Community 2017. I click on more, click on change or edit. And now, as you can see here on the right, it already has the details regarding my installation. So if we click here under Python development, it shows that I have native Python development tools installed. So if you don't have these, you can go inside here, you can click on Python development, make sure that you checked it. And here you can uncheck these three and install the native Python development tools. And that's all you need. Okay, so let us now proceed with the second step, the installation of Python. So as you can see here, I, I open up the installer for version 3.7.7. I click to add Python to the path. I click on customize. We don't need these. Don't need that. But what we do need is we need to have the debug binaries and the debug symbols installed. These two we can leave and install it to whatever whatever path you desire. Hit install, let's wait for the installer to run and then we can already jump into Visual Studio and debug our application. Okay, so back in Visual Studio, you will notice that on the top here where it says local Windows debugger, you, you can hit the drop down menu here and you can change it to Python slash native debugging. Then you have to add the Python files to the project by right clicking, selecting add existing files, and then you select the Python files you want to add to the project. And now you can just go inside the Python scripts and you can set breakpoints wherever you want and just make sure that Python native debugging is selected. And then you can just hit play and it will trigger the breakpoints inside of the Python script. So as you can see here, let me step through when this gets called, for example, my data. Yeah, so for for custom data, it's a little bit tricky. I'm not sure how you can give the debugger the information about this module and about the data types, but what you can always do is you can you can have a look at the at the values by yourself. So you can just type in whatever you want to look up, what what the current state of that is. So this this works yeah and you can also hover over the values you want to take a look so this shows me that it is 33 